welcome to the vlog. It's grocery shopping day. Why'd you draw on your legs? A flower. A flower. Okay, come on. Should we grab that card over there? What? Should we grab that card over there? Is there a card there? Girls. Got a new umbrella. This mine blew away. So we're at Hobby Lobby. I had I had somebody order and then I forgot that they had um, messaged me a few days later asking if they could change the shirt color to black and so when I ordered I counted it up as a white shirt so I don't have it now I have to go to Hobby Lobby to get one can you guys smell it the smell of Hobby Lobby Sorry, we bought those salted caramels at um, Sam's like a couple weeks ago. I keep forgetting, and so Johnny had them out. <laughs> so I was like, have like caramel and salt in my teeth. But it is 4:44. Um, we're going to a concert tomorrow y'all don't know who we're seeing I'm leaving it for a surprise so I have to watch tomorrow um, but I just edited Matchbox 20 and it's kind of hard um, it's kind of hard to edit because <clears throat> I know like I know y'all don't like Matchbox 20 or, you know, there's some people that might like Matchbox 20. And there's some people who just might like a couple songs from Matchbox 20. Okay, so. I know. And then, like, The Cure and any of the other concerts that we have been to. Um, but, you know, this channel is, is a vlogging channel where I like to share my work, obviously, you know. But then also, like... It's like a video scrapbook for me and my family. So, you know, we documented, you know, trying to have Journey. Um, because if, for those that don't know, in 2015 we had a miscarriage. Journey, <clears throat> Journey came about because of that surprise, that miscarriage. Um, we were, after Sterling, we were just very you know content and we're not planning on any more children although I had brought it up before a couple times like when Sterling was I think four or five like but I kind of wanted to leave that up to my husband whether or not he wanted to have more because if it was up to me I'd probably have like 10 million children <laughs> honestly um, but I have struggled with infertility in the past so we struggled you know, with having Sterling, um, we had to go to the doctor and get on some, I, I was on Clomid and it was the very last Clomid round that they were going to allow me to do, um, without taking a break. So you can only be on fertility medications for so long, but the, then they're like, okay, well you have to give it a break. So we were on the very last round of Clomid and we went to Disney World and then we come back and I was pregnant <laughs> so I always say that like, she was our little souvenir even though it didn't it wasn't at Disney World but you know anyway um yes yeah, so then we were just kind of done and you know we were older we were both for 
how old was I in 2015? 42? I was 42. Yeah, I was 42 in 2015. So when, um, <clears throat> you know, my cycles were never like really regular except for after I had Sterling, then they kind of were regular. So when it didn't come, I was just like, hmm, you know, but then I was like, you know, you know, we had so much trouble ever, you know, getting pregnant with Sterling and here it had been already eight years yeah eight years and we didn't you know and plus you know we were preventative <laughs> we had preventative preventative measures going on even though you know but lo and behold I took a pregnancy test and it was positive and we were very much in shock and disbelief and we were like okay okay and we're like okay this is gonna happen and so um, I went to the doctor and all that and I was due for my first ultrasound at nine weeks and then um, the day it was like I was supposed to go in for an ultrasound but my insurance something with the insurance wasn't you know so it wasn't going to be covered so then we were waiting and um i started bleeding so then i went to the doctor and they um did an ultrasound and there was you know the the sack and the baby and no heartbeat so they said either you know i was going to pass it i think the baby measured like eight weeks and something and i could almost pinpoint to the day where I knew something was wrong and it was before probably we were on we were supposed to go to Michigan too so it was like the week right before we were supposed to go to Michigan that I found out I lost the baby it was like I lost the baby or I found out like on a Tuesday and we were like leaving on Thursday or something like that to go to Michigan anyway this is in 2015 and uh, so after we had that miscarriage, we started like, you know, we are like older. Like, do, do we want another baby? Because if we do, we're going to have to like, you know, this, this needs to happen now. You know, we need to, it need to happen like you know, yesterday. Um, and so I went ahead and set up an appointment with my doctor and she referred me over to a fertility specialist. And so we went to there, had to pay to have a bunch of tests done for me and my husband. They tested me, um, made sure, checked my egg quality, my um, fallopian tubes, made sure they were open, you know, did all that. Um, and he had a sperm count done on him. And so everything worked out. Everything was like, yeah were good so then they put me on from Mara and I did that for I documented it for you know however long it took um, we did end up getting pregnant I'm trying to think of when we started the Femera what cycle it was on in the Femera it might have been like the second or third cycle of Femera and we ended up pregnant again it was right before we were going to michigan and so we went to michigan and i was supposedly like five or six weeks pregnant when we went to michigan and then when we come back from michigan we had our first ultrasound and um yeah there was no heartbeat there wasn't a, a fetal pull you know so we ended up having another miscarriage. So then it was the decision on whether or not we were going to push forward. And so, you know, I was like, yes, I know, I know that, you know, we're going to have another child. I just felt it. I just knew it. And then it was like right after, let's see, we went after the miscarriage we had to wait a month and then it was the the next month um we didn't have any have didn't get pregnant and then i think it was like the following month 
I know it was in February and then we ended up and right when it was weird because right when I got a positive although I had been testing all along I was like I just I just know I felt different I felt the urgency to like like we got to prepare for this baby like there wasn't no like mm, I feel like I might lose it or you know we lost the other two are we gonna lose this one it was like it was almost like you know I knew I was like <laughs> we gotta get ready and then yeah so anyway why was I even talking about this this is like my brain my brain don't work y'all <laughs> how did I even get off of that and this was supposed to be about concerts anyway so yes <laughs> um so this is like a video scrapbook for me so I document a lot of stuff on here and I do show work and do you guys notice that I redid my hair so if you missed before uh I did this side purple although it looks like it's almost like dark brown or something in there um yeah and there's like more pink on the side than purple on the side but anyway um I just went ahead and did it again we still had some dye left over so Sterling went ahead and did all of hers purple it was half purple and half pink and so since we're going to a concert tomorrow I just went ahead and did this but yeah um so with the Matchbox 20, I just tried to include what I could. Um, it's kind of hard, like when you're at a concert, like um, because I really love Matchbox 20, and so I'm like wanting to enjoy, but I'm also wanting to kind of like record so I can watch it back later. Um, in my favorite song, I only got little clips of because I was too busy jamming out. But yeah. Um, so I know some people may never even watch that video and that is perfectly fine like I said I'm putting it out there for myself so I can look back on it same thing with the cure and the other videos of concerts that we've been to a lot of them I have put on private but I'm like you know at least I can go back and watch them but here we are today I have to get some work done I got the shirts at Hobby Lobby I went ahead and picked up like extras um so they wanted a bo um what did they didn't say boy they wanted a black they wanted like the basic t-shirt style that's what they said um so i was gonna order one and i totally forgot i actually i ordered uh girl like a white shirt instead of a black one so I went ahead and picked up an extra one in a 4T because my luck is that I would mess that one up and then I have to go back to Hobby Lobby and get another one so um, and then I picked up a few 4T in um, regular because I used I had some these are the you know grace creations of grace but journey used it for her tie-dye so um, these are it she wears like a 40 in these ones and then a 40 in the gildan shirt so um, she's actually like a 5t anyway I picked up a few of those in case we do some more and then I did pick up a another gray one as well um, so I got those and then I picked up more cow print just because it was cheap um, I think what is this $5.99 and it was 40% off but that don't make any sense to me okay hey will you go grab my glasses I think they're upstairs. Look on the counter or by my desk. I think they're upstairs on the counter or on the table. Anyway, yes, so it is $5.99. I'm like, I was thinking I got a yard, but when she went to measure it out, there was like a yard and like a quarter. So, oh, a yard and a third. So I was like, just give it all to me. So when it, these totals were on here, because it says 478, 
And I'm like, 40% of $5.99 is not $4.78, but okay. So I got the cow print, and then I bought some more baseballs. I'm just, I have ideas, and I really, <laughs> really want, I already have some of this baseball fabric somewhere. I told that lady, I was like, if I, you know, I'm sh pretty sure I probably already have all of this fabric. But I just need to look through my stuff. This one I don't, because this one's a new one at Hobby Lobby. And I just really, it just really spoke to me. So I got it. Just wear my glasses. I'm going to put these ones over here in my hopes and dreams. <laughs> You look so cute. Mm, I love you so much. Come here. Where are you going tomorrow? School. No. You're going to a concert tomorrow. You know, shrink weed? Do you like to go to concerts? Are they so much fun? Do you like my hair? After, after the concert, can, can my friend have a... Who's your friend? Mm -hmm. her, her daddy won't let her. <laughs> Just like your daddy wouldn't let you. <laughs> but maybe you can have a play date. What? Maybe you guys can have a play date. Mom. Maybe she can come swim in your poo well. Yeah, that's, that's what she wanted. <laughs> Alexa, pause. Anyway, so we just had the kitten, and I noticed she had a flea on her, and I thought we've gotten rid of her fleas, but now I'm going to have to order another treatment, but it makes sense anyway, because if she didn't have any treatments before, you know what I mean? It's like, Winnie, come here. Like, all the cats are treated. Like, I treat them every month for fleas. But I do know with, you know, the kitten being outside and Ron being outside and then coming in and stuff. Like, they can bring fleas to the other cats. Um, Boo, I checked her the other day. She doesn't have... I didn't see a single one on her. On Winnie, I checked her and she didn't have any. But right now, when I checked the kitten, she did have some. So, that means that Boo and Winnie probably as well. Um, but they all had their flea treatments at the same time. So, um, I'm just going to have to get another another one. I bought um, I bought them on Amazon Prime. I bought some before Amazon Prime and then I bought some with Amazon Prime Day is what I'm saying. Be clear, Pamela, be clear. Now it is $30. So when I bought it, I got it for $20, like $20 and some change. And now it is $29.98. Anyway, um, I wanted to share this. I bought this at uh, Walmart or Walmart. Hobby Lobby. It was $11.99, but it was half price, so I got it for $5.99. And yeah, it's so cute. It will go with my other my other chicken sisters. So yeah, this is like a smaller one, obviously. But I don't know where to put it. But she's like, oh, have you got my order done yet? Girl, are you working on my order? Where's my order? Same with those. I just love them. Anyway, I have to figure out where I'm going to put them. Hey guys. So I'm done working. I got my orders done. I'm ready to take them upstairs. Let me journey the cutest outfit for tomorrow. I just can't wait to show you guys. So you guys are going to have to wait to see it. I'm hoping she will wear it. So I had to redo her shorts. Um, for number one, the short stint for her, they were way too big and they always felt, was falling down and showing her booty. So I kind of redone them and um, I tried them on her. They're a little snug, so I'm hoping she'll wear them, but she usually won't wear anything that's kind of tight on her. So I'm like, if she don't, 
I'll have to come up with something else. But I think this shirt is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. So, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow because there's going to be a concert video. And I'm so excited. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.